hello techies in the previous tutorial we have learned how to upload a file to the sharepoint by using create file as part of the sharepoint actions there if you see the first thing is that i have converted the excel file into binary format and then by using create file action i have uploaded the file to the sharepoint site by using the binary data let me go back to my sharepoint portal and there if you see inside my power automate desktop sharepoint site i'm having documents inside that i'm having power automate desktop that is pad folder where i have uploaded the file with the name of employee.xlsx file now let me open this file on the site itself now if you see over here in my excel which i have uploaded by using create file action i am having two sheets one is employee details another sheet is address now i need to update that excel by using update file action as part of this tutorial let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace by using update file action we can update the content of the specified file which we have seen in the sharepoint site inside the shared documents inside the power automate desktop folder now we'll see the parameters first one is the site address this is the url of the sharepoint site which we need to provide now let me go back to the sharepoint site and then you can see over here i'm having organization name dot sharepoint dot com slash sites slash power automate desktop tutorials is my site address i'm going to paste the same site address over here now coming to the second parameter that is file identifier what is the file identifier over here now if i go back to the sharepoint site now if you see inside my power automate desktop tutorials i am having shared documents inside that i am having one more folder with the name of pad power automate desktop folder and inside that i have uploaded a file name with the name of employee.xlsx now we are having unique values or unique names inside this entire power automate desktop folder right now as a file identifier i'm going to use this path in a such a way i'm going to take the path shared shared document slash power automate desktop slash employee dot xlsx now what will happen when you are going to update the document it will go through the path and then it will update with this unique id now i'm going to give the path over here as we have already given the site address over here in the site address now i'm going to give the file identifier at the path what is the path i'm having shared documents slash power automate desktop slash employee dot excel sx is the file name now the file content which it will allow only the binaries which we are going to convert by using convert file to binary data action all right i'm going to use the same variable that is binary data and then if you go for the advanced parameters i'm going to give it the timeout to update it it's a default one now i'm going to give 10 seconds and then i'm going to store the output after updating the excel file inside my update file response variable let me click on save now in this session our agenda is that to update the file which is already available in the sharepoint site so that i'm going to disable this create file action by clicking on right click and then i'm going to disable the action now one thing i'm going to do i'm going to update the excel from the local file that is the training employee.xlsx file i'm going to update it now what i'm going to do i'm going to open the excel and then i'm going to add few employee names over here such as i will add venu and i will give the email id as venu@gmail.com and the salary i will give it as 25000 and i'm going to add one more name as sushma and then i'm going to give it as email id as sushma at the rate of gmail.com and then salary i will give it as 40000 so i'm going to make this change in my local drive 
right in my local drive employee.xlsx file now once i will run this desktop flow it will update the file which is available in the sharepoint with the name of employee.sx file that is excel file all right we'll see that let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started as a first step it is trying to convert the file into binary data by using convert file to binary data action now by using update file action it will update the content in the sharepoint site by using file identifier now the process has executed successfully now let me go back to the sharepoint site and there if you see the employee.excel sx file that is excel file has updated a few seconds ago now let me open this excel on this online now if you see in the employee details we have additionally added two rows with the name of venu and shushma these two details have updated in a such a way the entire file content has been updated by using update file action how can we say that if you see over here i'm having employee.xlsx which is the previous instance if i go that i am having employee details also now if you observe the previous instance that i have only two records right let me keep it side by side now if you see on the right hand side i am having my previous instance with two rows only that is vasu and amir now the latest updated one on my left hand side where i have venu and sushma right now we can confirm that the file has been updated successfully now we will learn about the output response of the update file action if you see right now i'm having a flow variable that is update file response as an output from the update file action let's double click on that there you can see as a return i will get item id which is the id value of the particular item and the id which is the unique id of the file and name that is employee.xlsx display name employee.xlsx and you see the path over here the path which we have given that is shared document slash power automate desktop slash employee.xlsx file and when it has been lost or modified it's on 23rd august 2022 on 8:21 am and the size it has been mentioned over here and media type it is mentioned as spreadsheet ml dot sheet and is this the folder no so that's the reason is folder is false and you can find e tag file locator and last modified by all right let's click on close i hope you understand how to work with update file action as part of sharepoint actions in this tutorial